Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. When you're setting up payroll in QuickBooks, you can import employee and pay history information from ADP, Gusto, or Paychex. Let's go over how to import that info into QuickBooks Online Payroll. Select Payroll, Overview. During the step where you add your team in Payroll Overview, you can make the process faster by importing your info with payroll reports from your prior provider. Next, choose what you used to run payroll before switching to QuickBooks. During the import, you'll automatically bring in your team's info and pay history for the current calendar year. Then, you'll address any problems QuickBooks runs into. And last, you'll have a chance to make any final edits. Select Next. In this window, you'll need to drag and drop or select from your computer the reports that you received from your previous payroll processor. If you don't have the report QuickBooks needs, select View Step-by-Step -step Instructions. Then, open a new tab in your browser and follow the steps. After you have the reports you need, switch back to the tab with QuickBooks and upload them. Select Next, you'll receive a warning if there are any problems or missing info in your documents. You'll see a list of the employees from the report. Note that QuickBooks sets up the contractors you issue 1099s to separately. If this isn't your current team, select this link to learn how to fix it. It's best to add all your team members at once using the same report. When you're ready, Select Next. QuickBooks scans your reports to detect how you paid your employees during the current calendar year, like paid time off and reimbursements. It also detects any deductions, contributions, or garnishments, like health care and retirement. Select Categorize for each item to add more details. From here, you enter more info about the payroll item, like the deduction contribution type, this ensures it appears on the right place on W-2s and that QuickBooks calculates taxes correctly. Once you've categorized everything, select Next. Here you'll see your team and whether or not QuickBooks has all the info it needs about them. If someone on your team appears partially complete, select them to fill in the rest of their info. You can also add more employees with this button. When you're finished, select Done. Next, bring in your payroll history. Select Start. Here you'll see employees' taxes QuickBooks found on the reports you imported. To finish the import, you'll match the tax from the report to a tax in QuickBooks. Select Match. Then select the state the tax applies to. Then select the tax in QuickBooks to match it with. If you change your mind about a tax, select Edit. Match each tax you see. Note that once you proceed to the next step, you cannot edit your tax mapping. Then select Next. QuickBooks lists each employee you imported and their year-to-date net pay. If something doesn't look right, select Edit. From here, you can change the info imported from your payroll reports. When you're done, select Next. With your employees added, you're ready to take the next step. There are videos at the end of this one to help you with what to do next.